The video will focus on how Autodesk Rapid and Repeat can help to improve building performance and support sustainable design by exporting a GBXML file for use in a third party analysis software program. Now we'll look at the elements and attributes that are supported in the Revit MEP export to a GBXML file, which is structured according to the GBXML schema. You can define the GBXML information in Revit MEP that can then be used by third party energy analysis software. GBXML settings specify the parameter values used by third-party software applications when calculating energy use. Now, the following parameters must be specified prior to exporting the building model to a GBXML file for use with an energy analysis application or for performing heating and cooling load analysis. So let's look at the energy settings that are exported out of WebNMP into a GBXML file. The first is the building type, which specifies the type of building according to the GBXML schema. The ground plane specifies a level that serves as the ground level reference for the building. Surfaces below this level are considered to be underground. Now you should know that the ground plane does not affect heating and cooling load calculations. It's just used for the GBXML export. Now the location identifies a city. You can either select a city from the list or input the longitude and latitude for the building. You can also leverage Google Maps to accurately locate the building. Now this is important as it will allow you to locate the nearest weather station data automatically. You also have the ability to edit the dry and wet bulb data if the nearest weather station data is slightly different from the actual building location. The building services are also exported to the GBXML file and it specifies the type of heating and cooling system for the building. The building infiltration class specifies an estimate of outdoor air that enters the building through leaks in the building envelope. Next is the building construction, which specifies the type of construction which determines the materials and insulation, basically the new values for the building. And this includes walls, roofs, doors, interior windows, and exterior windows, as well as skylights. Another element is exported is the project phase. It specifies the stage of construction with a new existing construction. And since all areas of the model must be accounted for, the sliver space tolerance specifies the tolerance for areas that are too small to be a space. And to specify the level of detail provided for openings and whether shading surfaces information is exported, you need to set the export complexity. The complexity ranges from simple to complex for millions and shading surfaces. Now, simple is more appropriate for energy analysis as the curtain walls and curtain systems are exported as a single opening. That means without individual panels. Now, it's important to note the export default values. This determines whether certain default values will be exported. When checked, the default values for people and electrical loads, occupancy, lighting, and power schedules, and building space type construction types are exported together with all user-specified values. And when clear, only user specified values are exported. Now, the report type is internal, or internal heating and cooling loads only and can be set to simple, standard, or detailed. Now, let's look at those building and space types that are exported to the GBXML file as well. Here, you can set the building type settings such as area per person, sensible heat gain per person and the latent heat gain per person, based on the particular building type. As well, you can export the lighting and power load densities, as well as the plenum lighting contributions, occupancy schedule, and lighting schedule. Now, by selecting the space type, you can set the same parameters that are in the building type, but here, you're setting them for each of the space types. Now, in addition, you can export lighting system elements to the GBXML file. 
You can export information like the manufacturing, number of lumens per lamp, as well as the Illuminating Engineering Society files assigned to the light fixtures. So, now that we have all the key data assigned, we can now look at exporting the building information model to the GBXML file. Once that's done, we can then see from the exported file that Revenue P allows you to leverage the model to define the GEXML information that can then be used by third party energy analysis software. This information also allows you to take the building geometry in order to create a model and you no longer have to remodel it in the new analysis app, uh, software. So Revenue P will save you a lot of time from having to remodel the analysis software, not to mention being able to analyze multiple iterations more quickly and accurately. For additional resources, check us out at the following websites. For tutorials, webcasts and trials, as well as more information about Autodesk BIM solutions for sustainable design. And be sure to watch us on Autodesk Building's YouTube channel.